Hey everybody, I'm here with part four of path two of my Abyss unit and resource breakdown series. Starting off this video, we've got Punisher 2099. We used Aegon, took us four revives, we used some health pots, our combo didn't change as we were already at max combo, and it cost us 328 units. The reason for the health pot use was due to the block damage. You take a lot of block damage in this fight, so you want to make sure that you've got a fair bit of health each time you try to get them down. Punisher 2099's Abyssal Ability. Punisher's opponent suffers negative 65% attack as long as they have one or fewer unique buffs. Next up, we have Loki. For Loki, we used Aegon, took us three revives, we used two pots, no change in combo, and it cost 176 units. Loki's Abyssal Ability. Standing near Loki constantly drains the opponent's power. If the attacker stays at zero power for more than four seconds, they take a massive burst of direct damage equal to 35% of their max health. The next opponent we faced was Aegon. For Aegon, we used Aegon. Took us one revive and cost us 40 units. Aegon's Abyssal Ability. The attacker has negative 100% offensive ability accuracy, except during special attacks. Other options that people have used for this fight have been Sim Supreme or other champions that can nullify buffs and cause damage. The next champion we faced, Invisible Woman. For Invisible Woman, we used Nick Fury, took us three revives, and cost 120 units. Invisible Woman's Abyssal Ability. When the attacker or the defender fill a bar of power, the attacker is inflicted with a power sting passive for 15 seconds, which consumes itself dealing 600 direct damage if the attacker launches a special attack before it expires. This power sting has plus 50% ability accuracy. Unless the defender is under the effects of a debuff when a power sting expires, the attacker receives a stun debuff lasting 5 seconds. So Nick Fury is a great option for this fight. Uh, people have also used Aegon as well. Next fight we had was Cull Obsidian. For Cull, we used Doom. It took us 2 revives and cost 80 units. Cull's Abyssal ability, Cull Obsidian persistent charges are set to max at the start of the fight. Additionally, he gains plus 500% buff duration and buff potency for his personal buffs. Whenever one of his buffs is nullified, he also loses 1% of his max health instantly. Doom makes this fight quite quick and easy. And finally, we have the Collector. I've left a link below to a more in-depth overview of the Collector fight in general, but for Path 2, we used Aegon. It took us 12 revives, 8 health pots, and cost 793 units. So Collector is by far the hardest and most expensive fight for the entire abyss. Overall, for path two, I used 139 revives. I had estimated it would take about 112, so I was 27 revives over. It cost 5,663 units. I had guessed it would cost about 4,480, so I used 1,183 more than I had expected. I have a link below to a more in-depth overview of the collector fight along with some gameplay. And that's it for part four of path two of the Abyss unit and resource breakdown. Thanks for watching.